very special time, you know, this time of year for many reasons. Uh, one, of course, is school's almost out. That's pretty good, you know. That, uh, I'm glad that you guys are going to be named into the National Honor Society. That is something to be very proud of. And not only that, that is something that says a lot about you. It says that you're a good worker. It says you're a good student. It says you're a good person. Because there is a citizenship component to being selected to the National Honor Society. So I'm glad to see all of you tonight. This is an honor for each and every one of you. I hope you take it that way. And uh, take a moment here. I want each and every one of you to congratulate yourselves. As you uh, <laughs> get your high school career, you're going to do going, going out into the real world. And uh, you'll be filling out job applications, scholarship applications things that ask about what you did. And one of the things that will ask you a lot of times about you know, your high school grades, uh, activities, and honors. And this is one honor you always want to put on a resume or a job application or a scholarship application or a college application because this is indeed an honor. This is a national honor. So it means you're in the top few percent of students in the nation. I don't want you to get that. Uh, you know, when it comes this time of year and we, we do this and we eat together, it uh, brings back memories for me when I was in high school. And I was a senior, I went to high school in a small town in southeastern Oklahoma. Wonderful place, you know, rural area. And uh, one of the banquets I went to in the spring of my senior year was the Latin Club. I took two years of Latin in high school and we had an organization and I was honored as a senior to be the uh, person that represented Julius Caesar. And so I was very <coughs> Julius Caesar to go to the Latin banquet and uh, had my toga, which in an earlier life was one of my mother's white bed sheets. And I had a little deal for my head made out of some honeysuckle from the backyard. I was real proud of that and headed to the Latin banquet in my car and all was going quite well until I had the legs over under the dash of my car. And it started making smoke and I thought my car was on fire. I had to pull off the side of the road, come into a little town and uh, jump out and try to see what was wrong with my car and put out the fire. And I was dressed as Julius Caesar with a white bed sheet on. And the local police came to see what was the deal. And uh, I guess they thought I was honest first because they really believed me that that's what I was doing. It was some crazy guy. So that was a memory that I had. And it was a good banquet. Uh, we had a senior banquet. All that stuff. And I, I still remember all those things. I remember the people that I sat around with like you did at night. Throughout your life, you're going to remember the people you went to school with. I think about that every day. Some of the guys I went to school with, and probably more about some of the young ladies, I seem to remember them better. But anyway, I do want to congratulate you. Welcome all you students, all you <coughs> to conduct these tonight. And uh, again, I want to thank all the parents for coming out. And I think, are we ready to eat? Oh, we have our next person. We are invocation. Brought it to us tonight by Mr. Bernal Sandoval.
podium for this year. Thank <laughs> you. 
something that needs to be portrayed to us as babies, as middle schoolers, as high schoolers, and as adults. So as we leave tonight, I want you guys to remember that. Walk in beauty and whatever it is that you do. He did this at the Native Language Fair in Norman. Um, we went to the Native Language Fair on April 5th and 6th, and we all felt that he was uh, raw at uh, first place.